I got, thought it was a new one. No. Butter my bread, butter, butter my, my bread. bread. There it is. Butter there it is. Bread. I thought it was that's like gonna, new. That's going to be the next one. So I'm going to be up on the mountain for probably six to eight hours of training today, which means a lot of sun exposure, which means a lot of sunscreen, you know? And, uh, yeah, we just go. This is it, baby. This is, this is the hard workout. I'll tell you what I'm doing at the base of the mountain. Halo headband is on the way. It's on the way. Oh, man. All right, so for today's run up Pikes Peak, I'm going to use a Nathan handheld. I'm going to carry my debit card, stick that in there because there's a cafe on top. And so I'll, it'll make more sense once I tell you what I'm doing. And then I'm going to put tail, whoop, a little tailwind in the, uh, in, the, in the water bottle and then two spring energies in as well. And, uh, and then the GoPro, of course. Going with a bobo bar for breakfast. That's right, there it is. I don't know if you can see that. Little bobo bar. Oh yeah. Boom bada boom. Oh little chocolate in there. That's so good. Yeah, everybody, we made it to the base of Pikes Peak. It's a lot busier today. I think folks are realizing that are racing in two weeks from today, two weeks. They're realizing, okay, now is the time to put the work in as, as much as I can before race day. So it's busy here in the parking lot. Uh, what am I gonna be doing? So I'm running up the peak uh, at a pretty good clip, okay? Going lighter weight, so I'm just carrying the handheld uh, two gels, the GoPro, and then my debit card, because once I get to the top, I'm gonna eat some food, hopefully they have some decent food on top at the cafe, and then I'm gonna run back down three miles to tree line, and then I'm gonna do a fart lick workout between tree line and the top. So it's, it, this is the toughest workout of the training block, uh, no doubt, and, uh, and then, <laughs> Uh, just like two or three weeks ago when I was here, hitchhike off the top because you can drive to the top of this mountain and hopefully somebody picks me up, if you know what I mean. So it's a good day to get some work in and um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I'm just excited like this is, and I'm trying to mimic race day as much as possible, waking up a little earlier. Uh, meant to, okay, so no, no phone, which means no music, no, you know, no podcast, just nice and quiet, calm, relax that's that's my strategy for race day is i'll probably listen to like classical music on the way to the race i just like to remain as calm as possible and uh so anyway that's i'm just i'm mimicking today uh for race day i'm ra mimicking race day today all right i don't even know what else to say i'm ready it's like usually i have to do a bunch of stuff other than just tighten my shoes so let's do this all right we will see you so i'm not going to film it all on the way up but I will do some filming once I am at the top. Um, we'll see you back at the car in like six or eight hours. And I'm back. Oh man, you're probably wondering what happened. And you're probably wondering, Seth, where's your water bottle? Oh my goodness, let me explain what went down on Pikes Peak today. I'll get you the stats for the run back at the studio. It was a great day. It was a great day. I'm happy, I'm positive. And guess what? I still love the person who stole my water bottle on the top of Pikes Peak. That's right, with my debit card, my GoPro, and my water bottle. I basically got to the top 
after running up the mountain and then the goal for today was to go back down the mountain for three miles and do a fart lick and that's what I did but I didn't want to carry the water bottle for those last three miles of, of fart lick work so I hid it under a rock right next to a post there's hundreds of people up there because it's a very popular place to drive to somebody must have seen me hide the water hide the water bottle under the uh, under the rock and I got back from the fart lake and it's gone my debit card my GoPro so I didn't do a ton of filming today but the shots that I did and okay so I owned <laughs> I owned two GoPros as of two weeks ago at Jackson Hole, you know, I lost it and then it never was it never was returned. If somebody found it, I don't know. Well, today somebody just straight up stole it. So, ah, uh, so I'm out on GoPro, so I'm going to have to ante up and get a new GoPro, but anyway, that's what happened. That's why I haven't sh that's why I can't show you any shots from today's run, but I will show you a shot from 6 months ago. And I, I actually filmed a, a sh an exact shot from today at the exact same location. But in order to reach your goals, you got to do the work when nobody else is watching. So this is me on Pikes Peak six months ago in the dead of winter, putting in the vertical time, getting the altitude training. So just like in, it's like when you don't want to get out of bed early in the morning, when it's snowing out, when it's raining out, you don't want to go for your run. It's like those are the times when everyone else is staying in bed, drinking their hot cocoa, eating their cookies, you're out there putting the miles in. And that is the difference between reaching your goals and not reaching your goals. So anyway, I, uh, I love you all. I, I love you whoever stole my water bottle and uh, we live to fight another day. Okay, I'm off to get a little treat and uh, it was a great, it was a solid run. I'll tell you about it once again, back at the house, back in the studio. Oh. We made it back to Denver, and yes, I'm pulling into the Best Buy parking lot. Uh, keyword, optimistic. I'm optimistic after today's run, and I'm also optimistic that this YouTube channel is gonna survive despite uh, cameras being lost or stolen. Uh, listen, when you come back faithfully to watch the channel every day, and yes, get through those ads every now and then, maybe not every day, but every now and then, that allows my family and I to pinch pennies, build up a little nest egg to replace camera equipment because it does, it's, you know, the, these cameras, this audio equipment, it just doesn't happen. But you guys being here every day, uh, I have a little nest egg built up. So we're not going to let a bad egg, whoever took my GoPro and my water bottle today, we're not going to let a bad egg uh, ruin our day. And so I'm going to go into Best Buy get a new GoPro. Uh, I just checked and they have a little a little deal going right now so I think I can swing it financially but it's it's frankly it's because of you just so you know. So I, I, I there's no way I could have done this a year ago if this would have happened in last summer 2018. All right. We're not gonna let them keep us down, right? We, we don't let them keep you we're down. Get, we're gonna win. We are gonna win in this world. Huh, what you making over there? I love there? you. I love oh, you. Oh, oh my, my, the huge. Hello. Cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, and then three different oh, kinds of spinach. Oh my goodness. Mix it down there and then shredded chicken. That is what I'm talking about. I bread. love you. I love you. I got, thought it was a new one. Butter my bread. Butter my, my bread. bread. There it is. Butter there it is. Bread. I thought it was that's gonna. Video. That's gonna be the next T-shirt. Well, I, I, I'm. I'm. <laughs> just cause of life. I'm thinking around October. Yeah. I just need a good design. Nice. Yeah. We just need a hot second. We just need a hot take second. A hot second guys. <laughs> this oh. Smells amazing. I think, hon, actually, by yeah. the time this publishes, yes. almost guaranteed we will have passed 25k. Whoa! Because of all of you. Oh, we love oh, you guys. You all are the best. 25,000. That's amazing. Woo! That's crazy. That's crazy. 
That's your hard work. That's his true grit. Oh, come on. No, I get it. I get you guys. I get what you see in him. Come on. Now. I get come that. on now. We just we just one day at a time. He's the real deal. That's not, why not, that's why not letting the not letting the thieves get us down. <laughs> And onward and upward. Here we go. Delicious dinner. I'm uh, going to go eat second dinner here in a little bit. And yes, put down my daily dark chocolate. I don't know about you, but when I'm running more than 60 to 70 miles a week, like, oh, I just love chocolate every night. Like, dark, it's just like the body needs some good dark. It's got to be dark. No milk. Got to be dark, in my humble opinion. Okay. Today's workout was the last hard, hard workout of the training block. Not the last hard workout the last hard, hard meaning today i wanted to be pretty tired by the end of it and sure enough i was uh now next week i'll go hard a couple more times and then the actual race week i'll go hard once um but a couple people were a little confused about my tapering so when i'm talking about tapering i'm talking about volume reduction not necessarily intensity reduction in fact volume goes down intensity goes up so just wanted to clarify a couple people were confused on strava uh that is what i mean when i'm talking about tapering and today's run was 19 miles 9300 feet of vertical gain or 30 kilometers or 24 hold on all right and i'm back little situation in the house uh so in meters uh let's see 20 uh 2800 meters of vertical gain today so the workout was actually 13 miles up the mountain exact same course as the race in two weeks and then i ran once i got to the top and put my water bottle down uh, i ran back three miles to tree line so from 14,000 back down to basically 11,700, and then all the way back up doing a fart lick and the fart lick was three minutes on one minute off by eight and then that didn't quite get me to the top so i just jogged it to the top after that and by the end yes i was very tired a little disappointed about my camera being gone but other than that it was an amazing day uh, i feel very good about the effort optimistic about the effort and um it's net now like i'm just excited for next week to really start to taper so i'm still going to hit about 80 miles this week which is down from 100 and then next week will be about 50 to 60 yeah probably about 50 depending on on how the legs are feeling so basically cutting my mileage in half from the, the two weeks prior. Okay, and finally, those words that I repeat to myself on hard workouts and in hard races, okay? You ready for this? And I'll be curious to hear what you have to say in a minute. Uh, so today, I felt very good. The first three miles were de actually the downhill traffic from all of the people doing the incline was insane. Like I probably passed 200 people. So I had to yell runner, runner, because I was going up and everyone was coming down. So that was a little uh, cumbersome to the workout. But the first three miles uh, was was fine. But then from mile four to 10, I was just boom, boom. And I was telling myself, uh, what was I telling myself? Uh, eyes up, quick feet pump your arms. Okay. That's what I repeat to myself over and over and over again. Eyes up, quick feet and pump your arms. I probably said that to myself a hundred times a day. The other thing that I repeat to myself is uh, float it, don't fight it. And especially with uphill running, it's, it's tempting to want to fight the mountain and want to attack the mountain, but instead float. It's like that dancing. Uh, mountain running is dancing in disguise float up try it's like it's such a it's hard to describe other than you're light on your feet and you're trying to float up rather than dig 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 because when i dig my legs get tired a lot more quickly did i say that right a lot quicker so anyway that is what i repeat to myself up on uh, hard workouts in hard races and yes of course i will repeat those words over and over again in the race in two weeks from today when you're watching this on Saturday. And I, I, I repeat a couple other things, but I think I'll save those to tell you after the race. And yes, the question of the day, what do you repeat to yourself over and over again? Do you have like a mantra or a saying that I think it's actually pretty important um, to have something to lean on to to help you refocus because in a 13 mile race or a marathon it's even a 5k sometimes it sometimes you get a little spacey and you start daydreaming which isn't the worst but at the same time you then you realize wait a minute I've slowed down a lot or my form is off and so anyway what helps you focus what do you repeat to yourself that is the question of the day thank you for being here thanks for your patience with the GoPro footage uh, what are you gonna do 
We rise again tomorrow and we will do it again. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.